Okay guys, I recently started a video series called You Can't Be Autistic Because and I really enjoyed shooting uh, that last video so we're going to do another one uh, and like I said, if you like this video series, give me a thumbs up, uh, share, uh, and also don't forget to subscribe uh, just so I know that we maybe should do more of these videos and I will try and keep up this up and try and be consistent. Uh, so anyway guys, we'll go ahead and dive in. Uh, the second video in the series of You Can't Be Autistic Because is You Talk or You're Very Talkative. Hyperverbal Autistics. This video is for you, my friends. Um, because uh, autism is, you know, considered a communication disorder, uh, it impacts the way people communicate. Autistic people communicate differently and there are even autistic people who are completely uh, unable to communicate verbally using their mouths. And because of that, uh, some people who only have uh, experience engaging with uh, non-speaking uh, verbally autistics or autistics who um, do not or are not hyperverbal it can be shocking uh, for someone to meet a hyperverbal autistic person, uh, but we're out here. We're, the, we're I'm one of them. We're out there. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, uh, for me, you know, my communication is still different. Um, I tend to be a little bit rambly. I have rambly speech. I kind of have a funny uh, speech pattern to myself. I make funny noises when I'm talking, and I can, if I'm not cautious and not paying attention, I can have a really bad habit of um, cutting people off when we're having a conversation and talking out of turn. Um, I can do these things, but I have to focus, 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 focus uh, to get it right. Um, but uh, when, you know, people often, you know, see uh, an autistic person who is either on the internet shooting a video, which is way easier than back and forth communication because the only person here to interrupt me is me. Um, so this is this is way easier. I just, just spit it all out. Whatever I want to say, it's out there. So much easier. Um, or they see an autistic person on Twitter who's typing and they're like, autistic people cannot be on social media. Autistic people can't write. Autistic people can't. And it's like, no, you know, there that may be true. There are autistic people who cannot do these things, you know. Um, but there are also autistic people who can, just like neurotypical people. There are neurotypical people who cannot do these things. And there are neurotypical people who can. Um, you know, it's not really fair that we categorize autistic people, you know, that way and not neurotypicals. We have a spectrum of skills and abilities, just like you guys. Uh, anyway, so, you know, for me, as a child, I started pretty much speaking at a very young, very early age. And, you know, it was, I was a little parrot, a little mimic, going around mimicking things. And sometimes I repeat things and I wouldn't even necessarily know uh, really the meaning of what I would say. Uh, I would pick up on if I could say something and people would laugh. Or, you know, I would just pick up little things here and there. Um, and I um, would, you know, there, people think that autistic people have to be like really shy and introverted and I have been that way at times in my life, uh, but generally, you know, when I'm feeling good about myself and I'm feeling confident and like as a kid, uh, I would just go up and talk to strangers, which is, was, you know, a nightmare for my mom because I would just not know a, what you should and shouldn't tell strangers, wouldn't be cautious about not getting abducted by strangers. I was just convinced everyone was my friend. Um, and it kind of took me until, you know, getting older and learning that not everyone was my friend the hard way multiple times uh, that I kind of learned that lesson, lesson and became more restrained. Uh, but, you know, I, I was the kid that would blurt out really embarrassing private information about my mom or like, you know, and tell people, everyone how old my mom was and things like that. Like, I just didn't have a mouth filter. Um, and sometimes now I still should probably have a mouth filter in some situations, but it's gotten better. 
it's gotten much better. I didn't really even have a mouth filter until I was in my early to mid 20s. Like at all. I just, no filter. I had no filter on my mouth. Um, but that's, that's it. That's me. You know, um, there are, there are autistic people out there who are like me, who are hyper verbal, who are hyper verbal. We talk a lot. We ramble. We don't know when to shut up and we just, yeah, that's us. Um, and we are too much for some people. We really are just too much for some people and overwhelming for some people. And I will put captions on my videos for you guys so you can watch me on mute. Uh, anyway, guys, that is, that is that. That is this video. It's a little off track. Uh, but if you liked it, give me a thumbs up and I will do another one next week. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.